Hello, and welcome to a Checkpoint Tech Bytes video. This is part three of a four-part series of videos, protecting your mobile workforce with Checkpoint Sandblast Mobile in Microsoft Intune. In this video, we will perform a test scenario to make sure that the integration is working properly. We will blacklist an app, watch the solution notify the user, enact the policies for non-compliant devices, then clear the condition and watch the solution lift the non-compliant policy from the device. Topics covered in this video are testing integration, blacklisting an Android app, demonstrating the Android device being marked as non-compliant, displaying the in-app notifications on the Android device, clearing the condition, and watching the Android device being marked as compliant blacklisting an iOS app, demonstrating the iOS device being marked as non-compliant, displaying the in-app notifications on the iOS device, and clearing the condition and watching the iOS device being marked as compliant. In this first step, we can see that our two devices are enrolled and compliant with company policy. In this next step, we will blacklist an Android app that is currently running on our test Android device. Within the Sandblast mobile dashboard, we will navigate to the App Analysis tab and search for the app we want to blacklist. Click the Policy setting and select Blacklisted from the New Policy pull-down menu. Enter a note for the logs, then click the OK button. Navigate to Settings Audit Trail we can see that the dashboard sent an MDM event updating the state of the Android device. The Android device with a device ID of 92 has been flagged as at risk. In this next step, we will show that the integration is working by the fact that the Android device will be marked at high risk because it has the blacklisted app installed. Navigating to Devices All Devices and refreshing the panel, we can see that the Android device is no longer compliant. On the Android device, we can see that we received a notification from the Sandblast Mobile Protect app that a new threat has been detected. Tapping OK will bring us into the threat detail. We can see here that the reason the app is considered a threat is because it has been blacklisted by our company and that the app should be removed and instructions on how to delete the app. Opening the company portal, we can see that the device is no longer in compliance and that the Sandblast Mobile Protect app has information about why the device is out of compliance. At this point, the out of compliance policy would block this device from accessing the company Wi-Fi and data. In this next step, we will clear the high-risk state by changing the app from blacklisted to default policy in the Sandblast Mobile dashboard. Navigating to the App Analysis tab in the Sandblast Mobile Dashboard and searching for the app we blacklisted, we will click the Policy setting and select Default from the pull-down menu. Enter a note for the logs and click OK. Navigating to Settings Audit Trail, we can see that the dashboard sent an MDM event updating the state of the Android device. The Android device with the device ID of 92 had its state reset to normal. Navigating to the Dashboard tab, we can see that there are no longer devices considered to be at high risk. Navigating to Devices All Devices in the Microsoft Intune portal and refreshing the panel, we can see the Android device is again compliant. In this next step, we will blacklist an iOS app that is currently running on our test iOS device. Within the Sandblast Mobile Dashboard, we will navigate to the App Analysis tab and search for the app we want to blacklist. Click the Policy setting and select Blacklisted from the New Policy pull-down menu. Enter a note for the logs and click the OK button. Navigating to Settings Audit Trail, we can see that the dashboard sent an MDM event updating the state of the iOS device. The iOS device with a device ID of 93 has been flagged as at risk. In this next step, we will show that the integration is working by the fact that the iOS device will be marked at high risk because it has the blacklist of the app installed. Navigating to Devices, All Devices, and refreshing the panel, we can see that the iOS device is no longer compliant.
On the iOS device, we can see that we received a notification from the Stamplast Mobile Protect app that a new threat has been detected. Tapping the app, we can follow the notification to see the threat detail. We can see here that the reason the app is considered a threat is because it has been blacklisted by our company, that the app should be removed, and the instructions on how to delete the app. Opening the Company Portal app, we can see that the device is no longer in compliance and that the Sandblast Mobile Protect app has the information about why the device is out of compliance. At this point, the Out of Compliance policy would block this device from accessing the company Wi-Fi and data. In this next step, we will clear the high-risk state by changing the app from blacklisted to default policy in the Sandblast Mobile Dashboard. Navigating to the App Analysis tab in the Sandblast Mobile Dashboard and searching for the app we blacklisted, we will click the Policy setting and select Default from the pull-down menu. Enter a note for the logs and click OK. Navigating to Settings Audit Trail, we can see that the dashboard sent an MDM event updating the state of the iOS device. The iOS device with a device ID of 93 had its state reset to normal. Navigating to the Dashboard tab, we can see that there are no longer devices considered to be at high risk. Navigating to Devices All Devices in the Microsoft Intune portal and refreshing the panel, we can see that the iOS device is again compliant. On the iOS device, we can see the Sandblast Mobile Protect app is in the green state and that the Company Portal app now shows that the device is compliant. Stay tuned for the next video. An overview of the integration solution, part four of this four-part video series, protecting your mobile workforce with Sandblast Mobile and Microsoft Intune. Thank you for viewing this Checkpoint Tech Bytes video. Join the conversation on our user community, Checkmates, at community.checkpoint.com. For more information about Checkpoint's mobile security offerings, please visit checkpoint.com/mobilesecurity.